Coming up next, it's a UFC heavyweight division collision. Well, pretty much every time out in the UFC, DC, this man has put on a striking clinic, and that is his methodology coming in here tonight. He'll try to keep the fight on the feet. And that's why we tune in, right? That's why we tune in. We tune in to see guys that are dynamic. We tune in for the speed. We tune in for the knowledge of the striking game, the ability to set traps, the ability to find the jab, the ability to find the right hand, the right kick, the left kick, the knees, the elbows. He truly uses every weapon that he has in his arsenal to try and finish his opponent. You make one mistake, night's over. You cannot make mistakes against a guy that has the striking acumen yeah. of this guy right here. And the jab is not as underutilized a weapon as it was in MMA, say, five or seven years ago, but he's got as good a jab as anyone in the business, and that is where all of his striking flows off of. We'll see how it goes for him in this matchup tonight. All right, so here he is, one of the best boxers on this UFC roster, and if this fight was to be contested under the Marquess of Queensbury rules, it would be no contest, but we got an MMA fight here We tonight. would be talking about a one-round fight because right. there are no fighters in the UFC that can compete with this guy in that one form of combat. Such a great jab, the head movement. It's never on a line. He's constantly going left to right, right to left. It's like a triangle, he's moving. You can never see a stationary target in his approach. And what I truly love about him is his ability to really dig that left body shot, yeah. to try and find the liver to end fights. We don't see knockouts like that very often. This man has done this a number of times in the UFC. The sweet science. Oh, Some people beautiful. think boxing is simple. It is anything but. This fighter has certainly mastered it. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the main event of the evening. And when the action begins, our referee in charge, Herb Dean. And now, this is the moment UFC fans around the world have been waiting for. Live from the sold out Madison Square Garden Arena in New York City. <laughs> Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner. This man is a kickboxer, making his professional debut here tonight. He stands five feet ten inches tall, weighing in at 185 pounds. Pantera! And now introducing his opponent, fighting out of the red corner. This man is a boxer, making his professional debut here tonight. He stands six feet tall, weighing in at 242 pounds, fighting out of New York. You've been given your instructions in the dressing room. Protect yourself at all times. Follow my instructions. We will have a clean fight. Touch gloves is making fun. Opens with the left hand and lands flush. Single collar tie now. Well, if you like Muay Thai striking, this might be your moment in this fight as he gets the tie clinch. This is a massive moment for this fighter. He is a great Muay Thai fighter. Look for him to go knee knee and then try to land a big oh, one to the head. Man. Nice punch there. When he gets to the clinch, usually a takedown follows. He gets to his spot, the tie clinch. Then he starts to let the knees fly. And a nice stiff jab there. Oh, he got that knee up to the head. Oh, Superman punch. All right, he engages in a single collar tie here. 
Well, perhaps a sign of things to come as he lands a kick there. Nice kick landed by this gentleman. Big ball towards land. Now he gets back to range. Oh, crippling knee to the body. Stuffs the takedown there. How good is his takedown defense? And he landed the right hand there. Beautiful kick. And both fighters exchange in the pocket. Two minutes have expired in our opening round. Switch, he lands to the body. Blocks the shot. Got the single collar tie. Beautiful strike. Nice sneaky head kick. Again, back into the position. Mixes it up nicely in terms of staying heavy and also staying active. Well, that body kick was there earlier, not there on that attempt. Look at how he turns his hip over when he throws that kick. Big liver kick lands under the elbow. Just misses with the jet. Another head kick lands. Got to start raising that guard or this is going to be the end of the you fight. You got to start raising the guard and guiding that head kick down back towards your feet. You cannot take him clean and you cannot take him on one arm. Ooh, head kick lands. He's hurt. Able to check that kick as well. Big kick lands. Now going upstairs with the left hook. The one-two punch is true. Big body kick land. Caught that kick there. Oh, a nice straight punch there to his opponent, and he lands it just after catching the leg. So clearly, he is starting to find his timing, not just offensively, but defensively as well. Very good read there. Lands a switch now. Ooh, now he's got the tie plumb, Daniel. If you're on the other side, what are you trying to do to get out of this potentially dangerous position? You gotta start digging your shoulder to a side and then try to shove an underhook. You cannot bend down to try to get out of Muay Thai plunge. Pinpoint accuracy on that kick. No wind up, no tail, just a brutal kick. Plans a big elbow there. We're going at it now. Seconds down to go in round one. Big punch land over the top. How's he gonna follow this one? Huge block there. Big knee there. Final seconds of round one. Well, looks as though his leg is hurt here. You can even see him limping a little bit. Five minutes in the books. All right, second round now underway. I'm no analyst, but a little bit of a feeling out process there in round one. And that's a part of being in the octagon with someone that's so skilled. You cannot just go after guns and blazing. Both of these young men are trying to find the right moment to attack. Oh, a little single collar tie there. Oh, wicked nice leg kick there, DC. Can't take too many of those. Big right hook coming, it's blocked. All right, single collar tie now. I mean, look at the fit that you kick in this fight. Back and forth we go! Boom! And they separate. He 
comes forward with a flying knee that just missed hitting the target flush. Nice punch lands over the top. Nice leg kick. Hardy closes the distance, gets the single collar tie. Look at the whip action that comes from him throwing that kick. And they separate. All right, so he's landed some good shots. You hate to be overly critical, but nothing really in terms of combinations. Well, the jab has been looking great. How about jab, jab, right hand? Because eventually you're going to have to put something on your opponent that's going to really make him pause. I believe the jab has been working so well, if he drops a big right hand after it, he may be able to finish his fight. Well, that left hand has been there at times, not on that attempt. All right, he'll engage in a single collar tie. And they separate. Nice slip to avoid the left. Keep it busy here in the clinch. Three minutes to go in round two. So a much different approach for him here in this second round. He was a little bit tentative in round one, a little bit of a feeling out process. Now he has clearly found his rhythm, found the range. We'll see if he can continue with more activity here in round two. All right, he engages in the single collar tie. Oh, good knees here, DC. If you're on the wrong end of those knees, what are you, what are you doing to adjust? I mean, you gotta be getting out of those positions where he's kneeing you. You gotta be keeping those hands a little bit low to protect the body. You gotta just really, truly be working the entire time if you guys are in close. Oh, he lands the Superman punch. Sound defensively blocks the shot. Oh, single collar tie here. Real sneaky body. Now connects with a right. Oh, he lands another strike to the body, really starting to connect on a lot of shots to the midsection, and these will take their toll as this fight goes into the ladder rounds. Ooh, what a punch. Single collar tie now. Timing his shots nicely here, champ. He's doing a great job of mixing everything up and using a lot of diverse strikes. Over and over, he's landing a big body kick. Look at him chopping the wood. Chop the wood with those leg kicks. Battling for hooks. Ooh, what a punch. All right, he engages in a single collar tie here. Oh, continuing to work the body to great effect him with the left hand. Man, it doesn't take much for the redness to start. Look at the left side of his body there. Nasty. Oh, that's a good right hand. Single collar tie. Big elbow there, Lance. And a nice job at least staying upright on that. Left hook counter. And they separate. Oh, that's a nice strike. He blocks the punch. Beautiful leg kick throw. Caught the kick. Well, they made all the right reads here tonight, and there's another one. Beautiful read on the leg strike as he catches it and then returns fire with a punch of his own. So they have got the timing down here at this point of the fight. What a round it was, and how about that flying Superman punch at the end of the round? Not a lot of fighters will try it. He did, he executed. And it worked, right? No discouragement from his opponent to make him not try it. Why not try it? It's working, so why not try it again? If his opponent isn't careful, he will get knocked out and be on a highlight reel for the rest of the time. All right, next round is now underway. Hopefully the action continues at a high level. Pretty good first five minutes. Pretty good first five minutes. Both of them can really pick it up. Let's see who decides.
side, they're going to lead the dance as we go forward. Oh, trying to turn out the lights with that roundhouse kick, but just misses. Well, most fighters can't keep up this type of aggression and pace, but you don't have to worry about this guy. He hasn't really showed any signs of slowing down tonight. Ooh! A oh, little single collar tie there. He's very tricky when he throws that body kick. What a punch. Punch is blocked. Look at him working at trying to shut the liver down. Oh, beautiful jab by him there. Got that to the target. He dictated the fight with a jab. Trying to pass the guard here, but a nice job by the bottom fighter defensive. Bottom fighter did a fantastic job of following with his hips making sure he blocked any attempt to get past his guard. Man, how fun is this to watch as he continues to dole out damage with the ground and pound? Take it back to the days of guys like... Oh! He needs to start looking to finish now because he's got his opponent hurt very bad. Oh, big knee there! Oh! Went for the inside leg kick. And he continues to work the body here. Nice loop and punch. Some nice back and forth action here. Oh, significant strike attempt there, but a huge block. Spinning back fist. Look at him drive his shin into his opponent's body with that body kick. There's no give on that leg kick. Great punch landing with so much power. Oh, lands another beautiful strike to the body. Really starting to connect at will when it comes to work in the body and especially effective doing it later in this fight. Didn't see a lot of that from him in the earlier rounds. Head kick. Look at the turn in that kick. All right, single collar tie now. Checks that leg kick. Big body kick. Keeps going back to that jab, keeps throwing that jab, but unable to land. Great punch. Oh, he's landed a high number of total strikes here in the latter stages of this. That's a perfect scramble right there. Beautiful transition. Oh, looking to land the leg kick. That one checked. Oh, nice. Nice. Oh, looked like it did stun him a little bit. Two's hurt. Serve him up. Go get him. Liver kick. If you take those kicks, it's going to shut your body off. Distance gets the single collar tie. Real quick leg kick. He has a commitment to kicking tonight, and it shows. Oh, man. This is one thing you, you do not want to get kicked in the head at MMA. You cannot take too many of those head kicks, but this guy gets his leg up there so fast, sometimes you don't see it coming. Visibly limping here. Ten seconds now to go in the round. You take more of these leg kicks, you will not be able to be very active on your feet. That's three rounds in the can. We're headed to the championship rounds. 
All right, now we check out some of the action from that previous round, DC. How about the display of striking? Just high level. I mean, you would think that we're watching a K-1 level kickboxing match opposed to being in the UFC. Both displayed great technical skills, unbelievable striking. All right, here we go with the start of another round. Pretty good previous two rounds, I thought. Yeah, it's been a very competitive fight to this point. Both guys have had their moments, especially in these last two rounds. We expect somebody to get ahead, but they've both been so evenly matched. It was still right from the start. Oh, and there's a land with the kick, so certainly a good sign for him there. When that's working, you know he's in for a good night. I mean, he's cutting them down the side with these beautiful leg kicks. Ooh, what a head kick. Well, the right hand has been there at times, not that time. Look at the angle of that nice body kick. Timely defense there, huge block for him. That's a good knee to the body. Whoa! Oh, he's hurt bad. He's hurt bad, John. He's got aggressive. He's got to go chase that finish down now. He's in trouble. He's getting lit up. Oh! Continues to mix it up, going to the head, mixing in some body shots. Oh! What a fantastic strike. Throw at the exact right moment. He deserves this moment. Go finish the strike. Landed that one. And they separate. He is throwing a fast, straight hard jab. That's not a feeler jab. All right, so a near perfect entry there, and finally he gets his first takedown of the fight, and they say if at first you don't succeed, try, try again, was able to get him down there. Persistence pays, and that's what we saw with this young man. Over and over, he shot for takedowns, he tried to fix it up, and he got defended. But eventually, he got it done. Now, what does he do with this top control? All right, DC, half guard position here. You've done a lot of good work in this spot in your career. Oh, man, I love this position. And you see this fighter today loves it, too. It is the most secure position in fighting. You get an underhook on one side, you keep a half guard on the other, and then you just go to work. It's the safest position, especially for a wrestler. Offensive fight. Nice job to block the shot there. Right hand punch the clinch. Nice leg kick land. All right, well, he's landed some good shots tonight, but there's no three-piece, there's no soda. More often than not, it's one and done. He's not even getting a combination. I mean, hey. if you're going to sit there at the drive-thru, <laughs> order a combination, take the soda with your food, give him the right hand behind the jab, give him the hook behind the right hand. Jab, right hand, hook. That's two pieces of chicken and a biscuit. Finish him off with the uppercut. Oh, he's in trouble. He's hurt. Oh, he might be out. Oh! Oh, collar tie. Time the shots pretty well here early, DC. He's doing a great job of mixing things up, keeping busy, being very active. Oh! Oh, man, look at that picture. Perfect. Got to the leg, got to his position, got another beautiful takeout. 90 seconds to go. Trying the flying knee there. Liver kick. Ooh, looking to go to the leg kick here, just out of range. Single collar tie. Big knee land right through the front of the midsection. Oh, nice job to block the kick. 
All right, he engages in the single collar tie. An elbow! Well, there are a few things more fun to watch in mixed martial arts than these type of transitions and scrambles on the ground. High-level grappling can really be entertaining. Oh, and that one snapped ahead back. The referee has seen enough. Mercifully, by TKO. He mercifully stopped the fight. A great stoppage and a great performance by this young man. So a huge win by TKO for him here tonight. A seminal moment in his UFC career, and that could hold up as one of the better TKOs of the year. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Herb Dean is going to stop to this contest at four minutes, 49 seconds of round number four. Declaring the winner by TKO. Well, the celebration is on over there in the corner, and nothing subdued about it. They put a lot of time into this training camp and into this performance, and certainly their athlete delivered. It was a result that they desired. They said, I don't care how this match ends, as long as I'm not standing there waiting on the judges. He got his opponent hurt, and he found the follow-up shots that allowed him to get the TKO.